So hello everyone and this is going to be a simple guide on how we can install Intel's XCSS frame generation using the OptiScaler mode. And in case you don't know that Intel's XCSS is just like AMD's FSR frame generation but it's better. It's got lower latency and it's overall more smoother compared to the AMD's FSR frame gen. And after the latest update, we can now use this thing in every GPU, even older GTX and AMD GPUs. And today I'm going to show you that how you can install this using the OptiScaler mode. So first of all, some basic requirements to use this mode, like the game should be running on DX12 or Vulkan API. Yes, here the Vulkan is supported unlike the AMD's FSR frame gen. And this will work on all the GPUs. And we Nvidia, Intel or AMD and the game should have at least any one kind of upscaler present in the game's graphics settings already like any one any upscaler will work and if these requirements are met you can easily use this mode and boost your frames using the XCSS frame generation so that's all for the intro and let's jump into it so first of all we have to download the mode I will leave the direct ad free download link below the description box of this video so you can directly download from there and I got this early build from the discord server of the of this OptiScaler I will leave the discord server link as well and I will also leave the official OptiScaler github page here you can check and stay updated with all the newer versions of this mode so that's all simply download the zip file it will be in a zip format like this uh, OptiScaler 0.9.0 and simply extract it in any folder click extract here and you can extract this using 7-zip or WinRAR and now you will see all these files here these are all mode files and we have to copy each of these files and copy and paste inside the main game folder so simply copy them copy all the files and now open the main folder of your game whichever game you are trying this on so here I will try on the last of us part 2 so open the main folder of your game and make sure that the game's main exe is located in that folder sometimes it's only launcher so make sure that where are you pasting the files the main exe of the game should be there like here you can see here is the last of us part 2 exe just simply drop the files here it will ask to replace then click the replace the files in the destination and that's all now we have to install so here you will find the OptiScaler setup.bat this file open it and here you can see many options to install the mode but I will choose the first option which is dxgir.dll this is basic and default and it should work maximum of times but if in any game it did not work you can always uninstall and select other versions and try if they are working better but generally first one works the best so enter one and then click enter and then it will say choose your GPU and if you have AMD or Intel GPU select one and if we have an NVIDIA GPU select 2 make sure to select the correct input otherwise the mode is not going to work so I have NVIDIA I will select 2 if we have Intel or AMD select 1 and hit enter and that's all now the mode is installed and you can simply close this thing and now we have to open the game and activate the frame generation there so now inside the game first of all go inside the graphics settings of your game whichever game you're trying this on and then simply go to upscale methods and here you have to select either one of them either DLSS FSR or XCSS simply enable any one of them and set them on quality and here I will select DLSS you can select any one of them all three will work fine so here I selected DLSS and now we have to enable the frame generation so, so you have to press the insert key on your keyboard and if you are on laptop press the fn plus insert key this will bring the mode menu so press the insert or fn plus insert and here is the mode menu where we have to change and enable the frame generation and in case your keyboard don't have insert key you can simply use an on-screen virtual keyboard and here first of all on the top click on dlss and change this to xcss here and now you will see here in the frame gen section no frame generation click here and then select DLSS G via Streamline 2. This works the best, but this only works in newer games. So if this option is not available in your game, you have to select the Opti FG Upscaler. Generally, Opti FG Upscaler works good with older games, and DLSS via Streamline works best with new games. So here I will select DLSS G via Streamline. And on the side, no frame generation, click here and select XCFG. 
this is the new Intel's frame generation and that's all now we have to save the INI from blow and we have to restart the game once you know to uh, these changes will take effect so just simply save the INI and restart your game so after returning the game go in the graphic settings once again and find the frame generation option and now simply enable this and you will now find a new DLSS frame generation option and now we have to enable this so basically after installing the mode we can now select the DLSS frame generation inside the game's graphic settings regardless of any GPU so make sure to select DLSS frame generation and apply the changes and back from here and now simply once again press the insert key to bring that mode menu so press insert or fn plus insert so here we are now you can see there are different options to enable the frame generation but first of all on the top see the dlss upscaler click there and now you can choose any upscaler of your choice xcss 2 or fsr 2 or fsr 3.1.4 so basically all will work with frame generation of intels so yeah you can select any one of them i will select fsr 3 change upscaler and now the fsr 3.1.4 is active and now simply click on active on the frame generation option and it will enable the frame gen and that's all the frame generation is now activated you can see the fps boost on the top and that's all we don't have to change any other settings here just click on active and you can select any upscaler of your choice and also we don't need any of these hud fix fix for this intel sexy ss because this works differently compared to frame generation of fsr so it works already good out of the box so press the insert key and then click on save ini so you don't have to make these changes every time you open your game and now press the insert key to close this menu and here we are the frame generation is now working and it's way more smoother than the amd's fsr frame generation in this game as well i hope the recording can show the smoothness but it's way better in latency and overall experience and definitely an upgrade compared to the frame generation of fsr so that's all from the tutorial now i will show that how you can fix some of the common glitches or error you might face during the installation of this mode so let's zoom into it so let's say that the mode did not work in your game it crashed or any other error or you just want to completely uninstall the mode from your game so simply open that main folder of your game once again wherever you pasted the mode and installed it previously and then you will find this remove opticscaler.bat simply open this bat file and then it will ask do you want to remove the mode and then click on y hit enter and that's all the opticscaler has been removed click ok and now the mode has been removed completely from your game also to fix some common glitches or errors always make sure that your gpu drivers and windows are up to date these modes and frame generation works best with the latest gpu drivers and windows too and like don't use overlays app like msi afterburner river tuner even though they work sometimes but it can cause crashing in some specific games like here it worked but in some other games msi afterburner or anything that shows fps might crash your game and also like discord overlay can sometimes cause issues so make sure to close all of these overlay application before using this mode and also just keep in mind that this is a very early build of intel's xcss mode so if the intel 6 css frame generation did not work properly or it crashed in your game it's just a very early testing build so hopefully it will improve in future but yeah intel's xcss frame generation is better in practical than amd's fsr frame gen and that's all from this video i hope this was simple i try to keep the tutorial as simple and straightforward as possible that's all thank you for watching and bye